Бои тяжеловесов всегда пользуются повышенным интересом у зрителей, и поединок, который вы сейчас увидите, обещал вам немало интересного. На нашем канале вы уже ранее могли видеть бой офицера Омского спецназа Викинг Максима Якубюка, который состоялся на турнире Шлеменко Файтинг Чемпионшип. Его соперником был Юрий Филинский. Два тяжеловеса тогда не жалели друг друга и рубились по полной программе. Сегодня мы с вами посмотрим один из более ранних боев Максима, который прошел 22 февраля 2018 года в СКК Олимпийский на турнире Эван Челлендж 88. К тому времени Якобюк уже собрал внушительную коллекцию титулов и наград в различных видах единоборств, достигнув звания мастера спорта в четырех из них – АРБ, САМПА, рукопашном боя и комплексном единоборстве. Соперником Максима стал очень колоритный спортсмен. Чемпион Германии по любительскому боксу Франк Корц уже второй раз выступал в российской организации. Будучи татуированным буквально от макушки до пяток, он производил устрашающее впечатление своим грозным видом и при этом обладал немалой физической силой. M1 Global presents... Медвежий след в русском лесу. Что может прозвучать еще брутальнее и мощнее? Бренд Великорос представляет две уникальные коллекции потрясающих, невероятно стильных и крутых свитеров. Модели «Русский лес» выполнены из особо теплой натуральной шерсти, мягкой, приятной и износостойкой. А узор с изображением дружного медвежьего семейства вызовет самые нежные и теплые чувства. Для любителей легкости и комфорта созданы свитеры с рисунком в виде могучей лапы «Медвежий след». В их составе хлопок и акрил. Доступны варианты с надежным высоким воротом, либо без него. Выполнены вещицы по современным технологиям. С сохранением лучших традиций русского качества. В магазине Великорос вы найдете для себя немало красивых, качественных и стильных вещей. А по промокоду М1 вам обеспечена скидка. Так что переходите по ссылке в описании и закрепленном комментарии. Showing a lot of respect for each other. Went for a spinning kick or a spinning back fist. Got stopped halfway through. Level change. Looking for the takedown. There it is. Into open guard. The head coach of Maxim Yakubu. Oh, Kortz is doing the wrong thing. He's grabbing the outside of the leg. If you're going to go for the leg, you've got to sweep underneath with your arm, not on the outside. Took some punishment there when he tried it. Kortz cut above. He's trying to swing it to an arm bar there. He's a big guy. I don't think he's going to swing, swing very freely. But he's tying up. He's doing the best he can to stop the punishment coming down. Two ten remaining round number one. A saving grace for Courts, to be honest. I know it was a little bit slow on the ground, but Courts has come back firing now. Big knee to the body. Yeah, he doesn't want to get caught in a clinch again, does Courts, because he'll only be taken down. We've seen what he's like on his back. Although he was moving, he didn't have much success. Do you know what I think? That's no background. Couldn't find it on the fit in. Final seconds now, round number one. Short right hand from Yakubuk. Front courts versus Maxim Yakubuk in the heavyweight division. We are headed to round two. Yeah, I, I obviously Yakubuk won that for me. Round number two. Well, let's see if my prediction's right. Let's see if Courts comes out firing here. There we go. Just a bolo punch by Courts. Hard hook, part uppercut, couldn't find it on the inside. Stiff jab from Jakubiuk. Yeah, Jakubiuk's still strong, he's still got the power. Kortz needs to be careful he doesn't run onto something because Kortz is running forward when he throws those punches. But like I say, is it, oh, nice overhand right. Is a hell of a difference, Sean, when you first start a fight, you don't know what your opponent can do to you. You know he's big, you know he's heavy-handed, but when he doesn't hurt you in the first round, it's a, it's a real confidence boost. But there he hurts him with a left hook, though. And again, get off of the lead left hook. There's a right uppercut in that sequence. A little bit hesitant now as Courts when he's getting a hit. He's flinching. Oh, he went for the head throw. Head and arm throw, he missed it. I'm not seeing Courts on top yet. 
Oh, he ducked his head down, then he got caught with a knee. Takes punishment on the way in. Works going hard for the single leg, couldn't find it, backs off. Works flopping against the ropes, eats a right hand and a left. Yeah, he's... Oh, he fell to the canvas there. Is this the beginning of the end? Quartz really taking himself down. Yeah, he's, he's covering up. Again, he's swimming in for that leg. Quartz trying to sit up and through. You see that cut that opened above his right eye in round number one. Well, we're now going half guard. Will he pass through to the mount? If he passes through to the mount, I think it could be over. He's going to do it. He's going to get his knee out. There we go. The knee's through. Just needs to slide over. He gets it. Full well, mount achieved indeed by Maxim Jakubiuk. Well, we're seeing him cover up slightly from normal ground and pound. From the mount ground and pound could be different. Oh, he lost the rear mount. Needs to get the hooks in. Quartz going all or nothing. Giving his back, now turtling up. It's an escape full mount. He tries to trap the arm and roll. Right back into mount. Yeah, he's got a wrap. Quartz took himself out of mount and put himself right back in. Yeah, this is, the, this is he tapped. Oh my word, he tapped. He tapped. I am not a believer of tapping from punches. Victory for Maxim Jakubiuk that tapped the strikes. Buk just like that, now 3-0 and oh in his pro MMA career. На пятой минуте второго раунда техническим нокаутом в этом поединке одержал победу спортсмен из России Максим Якобюк. Новый поток, авторская школа Шторм, клуб Боец. Well, a lot of talent there from Alexander Shlomenko's outstanding fight team. Front courts. Finish or be finished thus far in his pro MMA career. It's the 2-0 Maxim Jakubiuk. That pattern held through. Jakubiuk a strong round number one. Quartz never really in any danger other than positionally. Jakubiuk hitting the takedown in round number two. After landing big shots from the outside. Part takedown, part Quartz really just taking himself to the ground. Jakubiuk full mount. Quartz spun out of it and then spun right back into it. The punches, and you will see the tap. Right there with the left hand, the tap, and a submission to strikes.